Today, GD is up about 6 plus percent. I've covered in this video two days ago why Geely is poised to run. I look at the volume and I taught you in the video how to look for signs where it will continue to run. In this video here, I will be looking into Geely, the new technical movement of Geely, but more important to highlight into volume and why I think that the movement will continue. Right, the average volume of Geely is 35 million. Now today, it made a 120 million. So this means that Geely almost had a 3.5 times increment versus the average volume. Right, this is good because previously, imagine, right, there's only one person who wants to buy Geely or one, one share is transacted. But today, it transacted 3.5 times, 3.5 times the usual volume. Right, it means that as price continue to move up, there are a lot of shares being transacted at the much higher price. So this shows the bullish sentiment of Geely. This is currently Geely price chart here. Geely right now is near to the top of the channel. I, I love to use equidistance channel because I see that as very systematic. If you buy somewhere near to the bottom of the channel, then you'll be looking at the profit target, which is at the top of the channel. Now, I mentioned previously that $10.20 was the resistance and today that had been broken. Right. The first situation we're going to expect potentially is for price to retrace down. That means to come into this support again because we saw that the previous time there was a huge volume price retraced into a minor support here. So this was this minor support that price retraced to. And after that, today uh, moved up. Right now, it's trading at half day. That means that we still have another half more day to look at the volume. If the volume at the end of the day is going to be higher than two days ago, which was that what I uh, remark, then today's volume is going to probably clock more than 3.5 times. It's going to probably be like 4.5 to even 5 plus times of the average volume, which is very healthy for Geely. All right, but there is a need for Geely to break above the high point here at about 1080. So 1085 plus minus around this area is going to be current Geely's resistance level. If you look at the whole picture, so this could be one scenario to look at it because you say, hey, Geely is right now near to the top of the range and no more movement except for to wait for price to retrace. Now, the other bigger look of Geely is in fact that there are multiple equidistance lines. So let me just attempt to draw in another line here which connects the low to many of these multiple lows here and then and if you realize that this line that I've drawn in this line it touches one point two point three and a four points here and I if just push it all the way up depending on which high point that I link that to if I push it up to the highest point this would be the top of the channel which is the ultimate profit target if Geely is to break out of this 1080 resistance. Now, if I just push it down a little bit more, that means the lower line a little bit more, then I'll probably be looking at 1370 as the top of the channel. So it depends on which high point I've connected to, but uh, if you say that there is a break of G on a high volume above 10, 80 or 1085 to be a little bit more conservative than the resistance of Geely as a long-term profit target would be around 1370 to 1390. Now again that uh, you might not be looking into Geely as a long-term uh, trade because then overall Geely is still very much in a downtrend. Right? If you would like to consider for a short-term trade then you can consider some short-term instruments like a structured warrant let me just go through quickly how you choose a structured warrant i'm at the warrant selector page here i have to choose the underlying that i want which is gili there will be two types of warrants which is the green color core or the red color put just remember call is like call up so call means you are looking at up put like put down so you are looking at a down so because i think that julie is going to go up then i can just click the call and very easily they will come up with the trending warrants that comes with a fire and that current price is about 1.8 cents so instead of paying ten dollars and sixty cents or ten dollars for julie potentially then you pay 0 0.018 so that's 1.8 cents 
Do let me know what other stocks you would like me to discuss and remember to click the subscribe and click the like button so that you'll be notified whenever I launch a new video.